going on traders and uh welcome to my stream in this video we're going to discuss like how i knew this uh g gdc is it gdc gdc that uh went up to ten dollars and fifty cents um the truth is is that not a lot of people want to do the work that i did um uh, it takes a lot of uh, practice and it takes a lot of work to get where i'm at um, you have to grind at it every single day. Like you go to the gym and I've been watching stocks for a very long time. Um, and to tell you the truth, like Jesse Livermore, uh, said, uh, I don't know what the quote was from Jesse Livermore said about human nature. Um, human nature. Like when everybody starts, when everybody, when everybody is excited to buy something, that's the best time to sell. And uh, when everybody's scared to buy, which they are now, that's the best time to um, to um, to <laughs> sell. When everybody wants to buy, it's time to sell. And when everybody um, doesn't want to buy, it's time it's time to buy. So Jesse Livermore said a really nice quote here: "Wall Street never changes; the pockets change." The suckers change, the stocks change, but Wall Street never changes because uh, human nature never changes. And uh, same thing with running a business. For example, a lot of people only show up um, usually after somebody made an exquisite amount of money. Um, like, like I, I've seen all these YouTubers and um, I mean, nobody really cares how to make money now. Um, they, they don't look at, you know, they look at the person's um, overall achievement. Like if this individual has made, you know, a million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars or four million dollars. And they don't realize that this individual only trades like once or twice a year <laughs> or maybe three times a year. And it's not really beneficial to their bottom line. Um, I trade every day and I look for home run opportunities like. 10% to 20% every single day in a very speculative uh, small cap market. And it's very difficult to find predictably how to make 20, 25% every single day and uh, consistently. That's probably uh, what I have to say that consistently to make 20% is very difficult. I, I've seen a lot of services that make 10% if they're lucky or they scalp for 10 cents and uh, it's very difficult to consistently uh, make that amount of money that you don't realize like how hard it is uh, to consistently do that. I used to trade OTC stocks and I consistently um, was profitable to make 20% consistently. Like every two to three days, I used to have a stock that I would make 20% or more. And some of them, as I was buying the textbook breakouts, daily breakouts went up you know two to three or four times if you look at my subscription of cgra the stock that i did buy i think last year in november it went from like i don't know like 10 cents to like four to 35 cents in like two or three days which is outrageous so you know same thing with uh running a business a lot of people want to see you you know print out you know a one million dollar account and they don't realize that you know um you know it's not really beneficial a lot of people look for, um, you know, right now, you know, where's the hottest dude? Where's the hotter stock? Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the hype is always chasing uh, things that are already overbought. Uh, the reason I'm so successful is that I always trust my own gut. Um, and whenever I go deviate from um, my gut, <laughs> I, I always get... I always get in trouble to tell you the truth. Um, whenever you are hyped up by emotion, uh, it's a very it's very hard to explain that. You know, when you have euphoria or depression, you get jacked by these emotions and you make irrational choices. Whether you're too fearful to buy, or you're too optimistic and you buy and lose. So. I'm constantly going through, um, you know, what I actually do to get myself uh, grounded. It's like, you know, if I were gonna, if I were gonna read a quote from that, um, um, I don't know. There's, there's a, there's a, 
there's a gambler, there's a guy that trades poker, and uh, his name was, I'm not sure what his name was, uh, his name was, <laughs> I have to look who's, what name he was, but I was watching it, it's like, don't get too high when you're winning, and don't get too low when you're losing, because, um, you know, this uh, these types of ideas are going to hijack you and make irrational decisions. A lot of people want to come up, come, come at the top and, um, you know, same thing with running a business. I remember running my OTC business uh, in the beginning. Nobody even looked at my site for multiple years at a time. And I was just kept grinding and kept grinding and kept grinding every day up until we had the marijuana boom. And then I was getting, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50 subscriptions in a week. So um you know the the key to trading is pretty much keep grinding every single day and ignore um ignore the mainstream media that's what i do i ignore the mainstream media and i track my data like every single trade i do take a screenshot and i review it over the weekend and i track um track a lot of data that's probably how i become consistent and i track my thoughts and i track my emotions and um you know human nature is always the same when you're doing really well a lot of people want to you know want to um uh want to associate themselves with uh, this really well uh mentality and really well um uh really well uh being and uh this is not really sustainable because not a lot of people can make, I don't know, 13 million in a day or 3 million in, in two days. Uh, these uh, astronomical wins that you get like once in a lifetime are not really, um, you know, sustainable. I mean, but the, the, the thing that people don't tell you is that in order to make that 3 million or 10 million or 13 million in, th in 13 days or 20 million, it's to constantly be grinding at it. Uh, even when you're losing sometimes. I remember when I was going through the grind and I was uh, sitting in front of a computer from 7 o'clock till 4, uh, 4 p.m. I was trading different strategy. I traded the SPY options intraday, Tesla options intraday. And I was trying to see what really works for me. What I've discovered what really works for me is, um, you know, throughout my data is waking up pre-market because that is when these companies have most amount of range. Uh, as you get closer to the open and you get closer to 1030, uh, we don't have that much range because, you know, you have a lot of algorithmic trading. that are just ping ponging each other and taking advantage of what comes for the first hour open. And after that, there's just no range. So it's very difficult to come with a, uh, very tiny account say most of you are under 10,000 which um, which is a very tiny account to tell you the truth in the stock market it's very difficult to come in with a three five K account or a fifteen hundred dollar account and um, you know take advantage of uh, you know cons be consistent it's very easy to just give up and um, and and go drive uber for example or um, or, or do something else. It's very easy to give up and not continue on your path. Um, I've always traded throughout my time. That's what I do. I study. I've always, um, <clears throat> I've always kept in shape. I've always read uh, audible books. And right now, actually, what I've been reading is uh, how to stay neutral because people have different emotions throughout the market. And when they get, you know, they take a loss. Uh, they're they're depressed and they don't want to do anything. And then the sad part is that in order for them to come back winning, they show up at the end of all like five or seven wins. So um, it's a very you know you're you're trading with a very scared money. Um, you need to subscribe for a longer term, like three to six months, to get you know the full benefit out and get that you know. Uh, subscription money out of your mind and continuously and you know look for sitting there in the chat room listening every day in the chat room and uh, you know then making 10% uh, or 20% once or twice a week or maybe two trades per month 
Um, if you if you have a 5K account, if you subscribe to a six month or three month, and you know eventually you'll get the flow of things, and you can make uh, 10, 20, 30 percent on two to three trades. Uh, a lot of people want that instant gratification, like right now. Um, I am able to provide that instant gratification because I'm a highly skilled trader and I'm able to sustain losses up and down. And um, I have a very uh, rigid uh, trading um, um, trading personality. I, um, I, I fight very hard every single day in the markets and uh, I'm able to sustain two, three, five, ten losses in a row and then I can make it all back in two trades. Uh, that's not something I have not done before and that's not something I do recommend you guys. A lot of people want that um, instant gratification like what can I do right now and I know it, it's tough it's tough for me too. Um, for the longest time I was uh, you know grinding on my um, grinding my numbers every single day and um, I remember it was just uh, terrible. I was reading um, I was trying to get my self-esteem up because I had to redo my business from zero um you know i used to trade otcs and i was very good at it uh i had people make 100k 150k one of one one trader i remember a couple of years ago made 100k or something in one single trade and i had to start everything from scratch and uh it was a very um humbling experience to go from that extreme high where you you know you're you're like the best on your domain and then suddenly uh my uh, my domain kind of just died <laughs> overnight i think we had um you you had like this uh what is it called the wolf of wall street talking about otcs and then when he talked about otcs i think the sec came and uh pretty much destroyed um all the OTCs that were pretty much uh, were pretty much there. And it was a very uh, humbling experience to find myself in a new market uh, with money. And then I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I do now know uh, more than I do know a lot more what I'm doing. What I'm really good at is, um, you know, pattern recognition and uh, psychology, probably my greatest strengths is uh, my, my, my greatest strengths I would have to say is psychology, number one. Number two is shorts. My shorts are number two best. Uh, and then my, my number three, buying tickers pre-market. Uh, those are like my strongest points I would have to say. My, my weaknesses as I become to know myself uh, and uh, track my data is actually over trading. Uh, when we're in a slow market, I over trade and um, I look, I look for tickers that uh, I shouldn't be trading. So, therefore, um, you know, when I do that, I have I have some losses that I should not have been uh, taking. It's quite uh, so. You know, embrace the grind. I would have to say is probably what I have to say. I'm sure everybody has jobs out there. Everybody has bills, and I understand. Um, I have my own bills. I have my own job. I have to continuously study and uh, you know like Steve Gawkins I think it was Steve Gawkins David Gawkins or something said something like if I were gonna go through you know his book because I was just reading his book um, what's it called um, hold on what is it called David Gawkins uh, I, I read his book, his uh, latest, latest book, David Goggins' book, is, uh, you know, Never Finished. And um, I read both of his books. They were really good. I mean, he had some periods in time in which he was struggling uh, very much so. He was uh, going to work. He was coming back. He was running. He was exercising. He was... Um, he was doing the work. And he was, um, and he was sleeping five hours. And I believe at one point he said that he didn't have money to eat uh, throughout his his grind. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are um, struggling with that. I'm, I have definitely been struggling. Uh, I haven't been struggling lately because now I'm, I'm starting to win a lot more consistently than I did. 
But uh, what I have to say is like when, when I was struggling, it was uh, tough because uh, I had to take these losses and um, I just, um, it was just heartbreaking to see myself take losses in the stock market when I've been trading for so long, trying to transition from, um, from you know, micro cap security, uh, uh, from micro cap security to small cap securities. So what I had to do my my blab for about 15 uh, minutes that I am now up about 11k on the day trading this micro float in the beginning of the bull market. What I have to tell you um, the the experience you know take it as I I take it you know don't get too low when you're losing and don't get too high when you're winning. And right now <laughs> I'm pretty high on my winning. And I try not to uh, get it over my head and, um, you know, constantly stay centered. If I were going to re review some books that I do remember, I was remembering, you know, I, I used to do like walking, meditation is great. Any type of um, power of now, like Eckhart Tolle, any types of meditation to get yourself centered and see the market in a clear light. I do recommend you guys to do that. There's so much noise out there and um, the the person that you should be looking at when you're trading is actually yourself um, in like in the mirror and track your own trades. Um, I can only be, you know, your training wheels for your career in day trading. I cannot be your, you know, I cannot be your co-pilot or your pilot. Uh, I mean... I, I can give you, I, I am training wheels only, um, I'm not a pilot, I can, I can pilot myself through a storm, but if you have not seen through what a storm is, uh, you're likely, if you, if you decide to ride on the journey that I am, you, if you, if we have a very, a very strong storm with hurricanes and winds, I mean, I can fly through it. I, I've been flying through a storm, I mean, for a long time. and uh, But the problem is that if you decide to fly with me through a very strong storm, um, you might be end up, if you don't have the experience, you may end up puking, <laughs> you might end up fainting in the back seat. You may want to get off this ride. It's a very, you know, it's like going on a roller coaster and you have, you know, 5 to 10 Gs uh, tied up to you. And um, I, I don't recommend you guys flying with me through the storm. I do recommend you guys to show up when the best opportunities show up. And um, and uh, like 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 the last two days. The last two days has been relatively easy for the bulls. And um, and I do recommend you guys to to track your data and look at it a longer term investment. Like when you subscribe, if you're just looking for, you know, coming in and trying to, you know, make a difference, like with a hundred dollars to turn your three, five K very quickly into a 20 K in like 10 days, that's very unlikely that scenario is going to happen. Um, we, you might be able to do that when the Mimi start coming in. Um, and you might be able to do that when, you know, GameStop first ran, but that doesn't happen that often. Uh, they, I mean, I, I, I try to look for 10% to 20% um, trades. I don't trade like, you know, really, really, I don't scalp that much as you might think. I don't come in and take 10 cents really quick. I look for the bigger meat or bigger picture of the thing. And uh, I trade uh, the best thing that I could find, long and short. So I'm very adaptive to the market. And um, you need to take it as a longer step process in which, um, in, in which say, you know, you get into this, this for a year. If you have such a short time span of 30 days and then you have an account of like 2 to 3K and you're trying to make millions, you're going to end up putting yourself, setting yourself up for failure. Uh, you need to put in a little bit more than that, put in at least a year just watching them, and then at least six months before re using real money 
and you should be using the simulator at all times and you should be winning 90% of the times on the simulator. If you're not winning 90% of the times in the simulator, there's no reason to make to use real money. Uh, if you want to gamble, you know, you can go to Vegas, get your $800 and go to the slot machine and uh, and pretty much put it do do blackjack, but you know, trading is really boring and it's like watching uh, watching, you know, it's very routine for the people that uh, have a routine and I have a routine to wake up each day and scan for that routine and it's really you know methodical and boring tell you the truth and that's how it should be it shouldn't be this hyped up you know whenever things are hyped up that's the, the problem with uh, human nature is that whenever somebody's hot and made a ton of money he's t he suddenly wants to buy his book or his course or his but they don't really understand that 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 strategy is is dead almost. I mean, there's only a limited of time of say six months after you buy a strategy or something that you can still use that strategy. That's why training courses are not really um, that uh, great. <laughs> you know who is great? A person that can teach you, um, you know, as you go along throughout the market. Even, I mean, I purchased a lot of courses. They were great for fundamental knowledge and getting the fundamental knowledge is great. Yes, but it's useless when it comes to comes to the market because uh, everybody, you know, because uh, markets change. Markets change and you will not find the same setup twice in a row. You might find the same setup like once every other week or once every, you know, other six months, but the same setup is never the same. And it's like a bag, uh, it's like trading is like a bag of Skittles. You have to know whether or not you're going to get, uh, you know, 100, 150 different sour Skittles or 150 different sweet Skittles. So you have to really, really have a really vast, um, vast uh, memory bank of all these tickers to be able to trade them. Um, I look for the meat of the move, like I said in many of my courses, many of my, you know, many of my strategy review, I look for the meat in the move. I lo look for 10, 20% or more. And, um, and that's what you should look for because you come in and you try to scalp for 10, 20 cents. I mean, is you're gonna end up burning out. Uh, burning out is not something you want to be doing. You want to trade during optimal conditions, say seven to eleven, and then Monday after eleven for another five hours. Uh, when it, that's when it's really busy so far, and then you know when when the Mimi stocks were running, I was busy like from seven to like I don't know uh, eight o'clock sometimes, twelve hours straight I was trading. So. If you, there's one thing you should be taking out of this, you know, don't get too hyped up if you're in a low moment. Um, and don't, you know, don't get too depressed if you're in a low moment. And don't get too hyped up if you're in a really high moment. Um, because, um, you know, um, success, um, depression and success are temporary. They're, they never, I mean, they do last if you constantly grind at it. But, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's not, it's, everything is temporary in life. Uh, as I was going through my, you know, other personal traumas, I was listening to a quote is, you know, a, a, a quote in Buddhism, which was saying, uh, this too shall pass. And that includes whether you're having a really good time or a really bad time. And uh, I know some of you are having a really bad time <laughs> and uh, there's only a few of you that are doing a really good time I'm sure for the past year I'm doing really good but the past um, year or two I mean there has been you know it's only I mean only the top traders get um, only the top traders with most amount of views is very competitive out there uh, get to you know be really successful um, um, the standard of living is pretty much increased for me to tell you the truth. I'm much more, um, 
much more happier than I used to be, but that you have to do the work every day. Uh, that burden of performance men have to to work <laughs> too. If you if you're not progressing, you're regressing. So there's one lesson I have for you guys that constantly keep progressing. Whatever you choose to, please don't try to progress in your Call of Duty game or Battlefield 2042. That doesn't lead to major accomplishments. Uh, you know, invest your time in either education in the stock market, day trading, watching screens, your health, watch uh, downloading audible books. Uh, do not watch the mainstream media like movies, like YouTube videos. I mean, I, I, I see so much junk on my YouTube streams and, uh, you know, some of it is useful, but understand that, um, you know, everybody has their own trading um, strategy. I trade small caps and I trust myself, what I feel and uh, whether or not to take that trade. And um, I've, I've went, um, I've went against it. I have, you know, trading will bring out all your positive things and your negative things. For example, my positive thing is that I continue to, to strive forward and I keep moving throughout, um, you know, a very strong, hard trading challenge. But sometimes when there's no opportunities there, are high, I do have days in which I force things and then it doesn't happen that well, it doesn't turn out that day. And then you, you wish you have not traded that day. This is a disadvantage of an A, A, A plus personality type. It's not that, you know, I want to be like super rich is that, you know, that's what I do. I try, I, I try for more. And when you try for more and you have unrealistic expectations and sometimes the market is cold, you're going to have sadly a very depressing day. And um, so I hope you, this video was helpful. Um, you know, look at, look at the, the longer picture of things. Do not look at the shorter picture of things. If you look at, if you see it like in 30 days, you know, what can a hundred bucks can do for your life? A uh, hundred bucks buys you a steak dinner. A um, hundred bucks does not do anything for your life. Uh, and some people do not um, uh, do not want to. <laughs> they think they can do it all by themselves. And I see it time and time and again uh, when somebody decides to be, you know, smarter than me. And uh, you know, I give him all the facts and all the data. And um, and I say something. And uh, I say, watch that risk and watch that maximum loss per day. And, uh, and then uh, he loses it all. Uh, not only loses it all, but he loses everything and more. Uh, you know, the market, that the market is called the market because nobody knows whether the stock is going to go up or down. That's why it's called the market. And whoever you're listening to that tells you whether the market is going to go down, whether he's, is it going to go up, he doesn't know. All he can do is make a decision at that time whether that thing is going to go up or down. And that, that idea of what he has comes from experience. And that experience comes from watching a lot of stocks and being here for 15 years and watching a lot of tickers trade. And... Um, if you're looking for like a quick pill or a magic, you know, sauce that you can put on your trading account, um, it doesn't exist. And if it did, um, you know, everybody would be rich. That's why, that's why everybody's not rich. <laughs> that's why people are not everybody a millionaire because it's that competitive and that volatile and you are, you got to make your own decision and most people sadly make the wrong decision because after, like I said, even though, you know, in the beginning, even though I thought I was special, I, I, I remember I signed up to a guru and this guru was like a millionaire. And I said, great, here's 50 bucks a month. Here's my account of $2,000. I'm just going to follow him and I'm going to get there to, you know, I'm going to get to million dollar status within a year. I mean... It's, it's, I, I thought about it too. I did it. Uh, and then I realized that, Hey, I mean, it's all fun and games, but 
Uh, it's not really the path you want to take. It's more of a very uh, immature path that I think everybody has uh, within us to, um, um, to, to reach success. Uh, success comes through work and listening to people that are smarter than you over and over and over again and comparing uh, notes and your own data and your own um, and you, and your and your own scanning ability and your skills um, so that's what that's what I have to leave it with you I always try to empower people and what what happens is I empower people so much that sometimes they feel so empowered that they you know they they think they're you know much higher than they are uh, I make people make a lot of money very quickly especially if in, we're in a very strong bull market and then some most like 60 70 percent of them i never hear from them again because they're unable to manage risk and unable to you know uh to hold those gains a uh, money comes really quick and if you're not careful it can go out just as quickly so you need to be humble when you're winning and you need to be strong when you're losing that's what i have for you guys to continuously be making money uh, in the stock market. Uh, other than that, it's been a fun uh, two two days of trading, and I'm sure it's going to be much more exciting uh, to trade uh, throughout this year as we proceed on from this bearish market. But you know, hope this video was helpful. Make sure you give this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you all in my next video.